In this problem, we're asked to find all the points where the surface uh, z equals x, y, e to the negative x squared plus 2y squared has a horizontal tangent plane. And so essentially, let's try to draw this a little bit. I got this little line here. Let's call that z. And, uh, and I want to know if we have this horizontal tangent plane. It's kind of like this. And uh, in order for us to get that, we need a normal like this. Right, perpendicular to the plane. Um, now there's this thing called the gradient, and we can really kind of say that the gradient is a scaled normal vector. Because, um, and it's, you know, and it's exactly in the direction of like, you know, it's a vector that's kind of going like this. So like, if that thing changes, it'll, it'll change and it'll move around. So the normal vector is going to move around like that. It's kind of similar to curvature almost. But the idea is that um, this tells you, uh, you know, what direction the slope is, kind of. And so we want, well, we want something in, in this direction. So they're saying that we want a horizontal tangent plane. So if we know it's exactly horizontal and it's going only in the z direction, this direction, it's not going in the y, it's not going in the x, we have to represent that by saying 0, 0, and then uh, this could be a k in that direction. It's only going to go up in the z direction, right? Horizontal tangent and we're looking at uh, the normal vector being in that way okay so that's how we can represent this so this is kind of what this gradient is now we need to say the gradient is equal to uh the partial derivatives of uh f and y and z so this is kind of how we want to do this um so in order to get that, now we need to start taking the partials of our original equation. So we'll say, you know, dz over dx. That's just going to be equal to this. Um, here, we'll, we'll need to take the, the, the product rule of this. So we're going to differentiate that, we'll call it y, and then we'll leave the other one as um, this minus 2y squared, then we can add, um, we can we leave this side that way, and we'll take the derivative of this side, so we have to multiply that by the derivative of the top here, um, with respect to x is going to be negative 2x, um, we can kind of rearrange this slightly, if I said that this was a negative, negative and we'll put a two you know somewhere around there then i'll make this x squared x squared because there's two of them uh, so we kind of have something like that um this can actually simplify a little further uh, we see it's y e to the negative x squared minus two y squared then uh, we can just go one minus two x squared now we need to set this equal to zero because these two things are going to be equal, these two things are going to be equal, and these two things are going to be equal. We want the normal vector to be equal to the derivatives that we find to our original equation. We're setting it equal to 0, 0, and uh, whatever we get in the k, it's just going to be something that we get in the k, in, in, the, in the z direction. Uh, this is supposed to equal to 0, because this is for x. This is supposed to equal 0 again. And so we can set 1 my equal to 2x squared, because that's just uh, how we can rearrange that. We're going to get 1 half equals x squared, and then x equals uh, the plus or minus the square root of uh, 1 over square root of 2. Okay, that's kind of going to work like that. This is for our x point. Now we can also solve for uh, y. So we'll go d, z, d, y is going to be equal to... Very similar stuff. So we'll take the, the derivative on that side. It's going to be equal to just x. And then we go e um, minus x squared minus 2y squared. Uh, here we're going to just do the plus. Um, leave that side that way. Take the derivative of this. Negative x squared plus 2y squared. Multiply that by the um, derivative of that, which is going to be... Oh, this is supposed to be a minus right here, right? Okay, and then uh, minus uh, 4y, okay? I'll rewrite this to say minus 4 here, kind of like this, just minus. 
And then we'll also square the y's, so that way we can get rid of that. All right, so we're almost done here. We set this equal to zero. That's the y. Okay, and uh, we can rewrite this. So x um, negative x squared minus 2y squared. We can pull the parentheses here. Uh, y squared, and there's a 4 there, equals 0. We can rearrange this to say 1 equals 4y squared. So it's kind of going to be like that. So y is equal to plus or minus um, 1 over 2. Okay, so we finally solved it. Uh, the equations lead us to the conclusions. The point are going to be 1 over square root of 2, and then uh, 1 half, that's the positives. And then the other ones are going to be, we'll keep this positive still, 1 over square root of 2, and then we have negative 1 over 2. And then we have uh, 1 over over square root of 2, this is going to be negative, and then we also have a positive 1 half, and then we have a negative 1 over square root of 2, and a negative 1 half. Okay. Oh yeah, and uh, let's not forget about the point zero, 0, because that would work too. That's part of this whole thing. <laughs>